Hi guys! So I filmed a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's really universal, anybody can wear it. If you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Hey guys! So I've just gotten out of the shower, so that means I've already washed my face and all that. So I'm just going to go in with moisturizer. This is the one from Origins, the one that I always use. It's the ginseng one, it smells like oranges and it's really nice for oily skin because it doesn't make my skin overly greasy. So then I'm going to go in with eye cream. I'm just using the ginseng one, again from Origins. So since I'm going to be doing a black smoky eye and I'm going to be using a lot of dark colors on my eyes, I don't want to do my foundation first because all it's going to do is all that black eyeshadow is going to fall onto my foundation and my concealer and it's going to ruin my face makeup. I'm going to go in and do my eyes first. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Paint and Paint Pot just so that my eyeshadows last all day. So then I'm going to go in with a vanilla toned eyeshadow and just to set the base so that my eyeshadows don't stick to one place, I'm just putting the vanilla shade from the crease up because I'm going to be putting a black cream base onto my lid so I don't really need the vanilla shade on my lid. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek as my transition shade. And I'm just applying that to the entire crease pretty messily, not really putting it anywhere specific. When I finish with my eyeshadow, you're not really going to be able to see. Let me, let me zoom you. Okay. Okay, I zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing because I didn't realize that you were so far away. <laughs> By the time that I finish my eyeshadow, you're not really going to see this color. This is just so that um, the eyeshadow looks smooth from my own skin tone to the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with Taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette. The first one, not the second one. And I'm going to put that right into the crease. Then I'm going to go in with my E40 in that same peach smoothie color from Makeup Geek. In between each step, you'll notice that I always go back in with a fluffier brush. To smooth it out because that's how you're gonna achieve the most flawless and seamless look. Now I'm gonna go in with Sable from the Lorac palette. Now I'm gonna blend that out some more. So then I'm gonna go in with an even darker shade. I'm using Espresso. Black. I'm gonna try to keep it low though. I'm trying not to get it too high up into my crease because then it's just gonna look like you got punched in the eye. And this is gonna be the transition from the black that's all over the lid into the crease. So now I'm gonna go in and do my black base. Since I don't have a black cream eyeshadow, I'm really just gonna be using the NYX Slide On Glide On. Way too long, way too long, but I'll put it in a little thing. So I'm really just going to paint this all over my eye from the lash line to the crease. And then immediately I'm going to go in with my brush and start blending that into my crease because I don't want it to set and then have a harsh line where my crease is. And it can look messy and sloppy. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to go in with black eyeshadow later on anyway. Then, using the same brush, wow, it looks scary right now, I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using the one from the Lorac palette again. Okay, then I've got some harsh lines, so I'm going to go back in with my E25 and blend. white eyeshadow and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Then I'm going to tight line my eye with black eyeliner. But I'm going to go in with mascara. And I'm going to go in with false teeth. I'm using the ones from Ardell. And I'm using the Kiss Lash Adhesive 
to put a thin strip of glue on the lash band. So, hold on, because I have to put these on. Now I'm going to go over the lash band with some glue. I mean, what? With some glue. Now that the eyes are partially done, I'm going to go back later and do my my under eyes. I'm going to do the face. I'm going to go wet my beauty blender because it's dry right now. So, be right back. So now I'm going to go in foundation. I'm going to use 103 Natural Buff from the L'Oreal Infallible, the Pro Matte one. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face as huge. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff it out later with my beauty blender. are so dark I'm gonna go in with another layer of foundation just so that my face looks absolutely flawless when you have really heavy eyes you want the skin to look flawless then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline master conceal and highlight and conceal And then to set that, I'm going to be using the Dream Wonder Powder by Maybelline and my F35 by Sigma. And I'm going to use a bigger brush to dust that all over the rest of my face, just to set the foundation. Then I'm going to contour. I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit as the little brush that comes with it. Then I'm going to go in with my E40 to contour my nose. Then I'm going to go in with a bigger brush to blend out all the harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with Milani's Coral Code blush with my MAC 168 brush. Then I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer by Balm to highlight my face with my F35. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using... I can't believe I just ran out of this. I cannot believe I just ran. No matter, no matter. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown with a liner, like a little angled brush from Equal Tool. So now I'm gonna do the under eyes. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go straight in with black and I'm using the E55 by Sigma. And I'm just gonna put that all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then later on I'm gonna go in and blend it with a brown. I'm gonna go in with the eye shading brush from Equal Tools and taupe from the black palette and I'm just gonna smoke out that black. And I'm really, I'm not afraid to bring this down too low because the lower you bring it, the smokier this is gonna look. Okay, then uh, I forgot to put on brow gel, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Oh, and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Okay, I think I'm gonna retouch the white that's under my brow bone because it's faded a little bit. 
the pink champagne on ice and she said okay then i'm just gonna go in with bottom lash mascara to finish off the eyes okay on second thought i'm gonna put black uh eyeliner in my waterline just to make it a bit smokier okay with such dramatic eyes i don't think i'm gonna go very dramatic on the lips so i'm gonna keep it nude i'm just gonna use daringly nude from maybelline Actually, that's like really pink. So I'm just gonna blot off some of that. And it's still on there pretty much, but I just blotted off the um, most of the product. And I'm gonna dull it down a little bit with Cookie from ColourPop. That didn't even make a difference, I don't understand. Then I'm gonna put on a nude gloss on top of that. I'm using Flora Abundance from MAC. I'm gonna intensify the uh, highlight on my inner corners. Whenever I have such dark eyes, I always like to have a strong inner corner highlight. Just because it brings the light back into your eyes. And it doesn't make them look so closed off because with so many dark colors, they can make your eyes look really small. So this is the final result. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos and makeup tutorials. And I hope I'll see you later. Bye.